Right, so deer season's around the corner. It's three to four weeks away now, judging from whatever state that you're in. And we're wanting to get our bows set up and we're wanting to be more accurate. That's the goal of archery is everybody's wanting to be more accurate. Well, this is how we're gonna do it with a simple piece of change. Now you can use a quarter, a penny, a dime, a nickel, whatever you want, or a bottle cap. Now, this is kind of an aim small, miss small situation. A lot of people don't like that term, and a lot of people say, well, I'll go to a blank bell. You know, it'll keep my mind off of trying to hit a specific thing, and I have target panic and all this, so I'm gonna go to a blank bell. I don't like that. In an instance, I like to use a blank bell for learning a new release. I don't like it so much for trying to create a specific goal of hitting a spot. But what the quarter's gonna do is you're gonna go back to 20 yards. You're gonna sit there and you're gonna stare a hole through that quarter. And this will be your pin, the end of this arrow. So you're gonna stare a hole through the center of that quarter, penny, dime, bottle cap, a small micro target. And you're just gonna stare. And you're just gonna let that pin do whatever it wants. I don't care what your pin does. I don't want you to take your eyes off of that small object. And then I want you to anchor in, stare at it, and then start slowly executing your shot and going through your shot. Now, obviously, some people might not hit the corner the first couple of times. And don't get discouraged because the goal of this is not necessarily to hit the corner. If you hit it, awesome, keep doing it. But the goal here is to minimize your pin flow. And a lot of archers do that with sidebars, V-bars, more weights, longer stabilizers. But other people don't have that setup and might have a cheaper setup. Or you want to be able to be as light as possible when you're going to the deer woods and say, hey, I'm a deer hunter, I'm not a tournament archer. Well, just because you don't have a tournament setup doesn't mean that you can't achieve tournament accuracy. So once you hit the quarter or the diamond, whatever you're shooting at, at 20 yards and you're feeling good, shoot it, then go back to 30 yards, do the same thing, and then 40 yards and further on, as far back as you want to shoot. And then once you shoot at that farther distance and you're getting comfortable, go back to 30 and 20 and you'll see that your pin flow will be very very small a lot different than what it is you're going to feel like you're sitting rock solid that's going to be a huge morale boost for you and build the utmost confidence in your shot so i hope this tip helps guys everybody take care and shoot straight